we can install Docker on the same operating system. And this is official documentation of Docker installation. So open this link. If you scroll down, and here you see download Docker desktop. And this is very simple installation stage. So based on your operating system, if you click on the uh, Linux here, so you see here we have the stage to install Docker on the different Linux distribution. Here, uh, I'm going to install this Docker on the Ubuntu machine on the remote virtual machine. So I'm assuming you already had a Azure virtual machine got created with a public IP address and you do SSH. You see here I am on my Azure virtual machine and I'm using Ubuntu operating system. So let me run this command sudo apt update and after that we need to install Docker. So this is command to install the Docker engine. So let me copy this and paste this and this is going to install. And no, all these commands we're going to use again and again on different virtual machine when we need to install Docker. And then we can check the status of Docker if this is running. So let's check the status. Now we see this is running, right? Now let's go ahead and run the first container called hello world. But this is not going to run. We are going to get a error as you see. You know why? Because Docker always runs with the root user and that is the one of the problem. So for that, what we need to do, we are going to add a user to the Docker group. Okay. So my current user, the user which I logged in, I'm going to add to the Docker group. Okay. And then my this user will have the permission. Okay. So let me do that. And now we need to change the user. Okay. So either I need to log out and log in again. I need to open the new terminal. Okay. But let me do one thing. I have already created this command. So let me go here and type the Docker demo. And again, you can use this repository. I'm going to use a lot for doing all the hands off. Okay. So again, here we have installation steps. But here, let's do this couple of commands as well. Yeah. So Docker version, we can check it. This is running. Okay. And we need to enable this. Okay. So that's very important steps. So let me do this here. Okay. All looks good. And Docker status, we can check it. Of course, this was running. Okay. Now we got this error when we were running. Then we need to add this, right? We already did this. And then we need to log out and log in back. Okay. For that, we can run this command. Now we can go and run this. And we will see this is going to run our container. Now, what you see here, let me walk you through. So this is Docker run, right? And hello world. So this is going to run a container called hello world. And for that, it's need the image, right? So hello world, this image is not available on locally right so what this did this pull this image from the remote repository from docker hub so this is what we see this is pulled and then this is started now let me clear the screen docker images if you type here then we will see we have one image here hello world right now we can also see docker ps if this is running okay now we see this is not running so maybe there's some problem this didn't get run but if you type docker here all then we see this is the stop container so maybe there is some problem with this image of course you can go ahead and check the log using docker logs and container name okay but instead of let's go ahead and run a different container okay let's do docker pull and we're going to pull a image from the docker hub okay and nginx 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 so let's pull this image first because we need the image right so we need to pull it and even if you don't want to pull it we can go ahead and directly try to run the container and it will automatically pull from the remote now we pull this image do docker images now we see we have nginx image here right now if you go and run docker run minus d and of course you can pass the name if you don't pass the name so it's going to create the container with the docker nginx name then pass the image ng i n x okay and hit the enter now this is used the local image and this is created the container here okay now type docker ps and we will see this container is running nginx okay so this is name okay so actually what is this is pick the uh, any random name if you don't give the any name it will create the random name okay so this is the image this is the process id and this is the command entry point okay is created nine seconds ago status is up and running and this is the port on port 80 and this is the name okay again if you want to run with the certain name we can give minus minus name okay my nginx nginx okay hit the enter it's created and let me clear the screen and docker ps okay now we see we have another container running and this is my nginx right Perfect. Now this is working fine. 